been a little while since I put up a video. Well, maybe a week. That's a, a while for me. Uh, I haven't been feeling really well lately. Uh, my arthritis is killing me lately. And, uh, yeah, it just triggered a whole downward spiral into the darkest depths of despair. But I'm powering right through it. You know what they say about hell. The only way to get through hell is to get all through it. Just go through it. And that's what you got to do. You got to keep going no matter how many times life wants to kick you while you're down. You got to get back up and put one foot in the front of the other and get going. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, what I got today is a pretty sweet little Victorinox. Uh, I mean, come on, don't I always have a pretty cool knife? But uh, this is a, an especially cool one. This is one uh, that I just did a major repair job to. I took this whole knife apart and put new blades on it because the blades, let me see if I got them here. If I got them here, right. Got a pile of junk here, like, yeah, I just got, like, this cup full of parts is, like, where my parts go. Yeah, I don't know where the blades are, but I don't know where they are, but just trust me, they were tiny. There was, like, uh, there was no blades left, basically. So, put some fresh blades on it from a donor knife, and put it all back together, and it came out wonderfully. Um, yeah, I think it did a pretty good job. And right now, it just looks the way it does when I got it. I'm going to polish it up a little bit more, I think. But this is basically how it was when I got it. So, what do we got here? Well, we've got a Climber Small. One of my favorites. The 84 millimeter Climber. Uh, the highly coveted, highly collectible, and uh, usually overpriced Climber Small. And this is a great one, too. Because not only does it have... A five-turn corkscrew with the fluting, biggity bow. Not only does it have that reamer, but it has something that all the collectors love. The long nail file on back. Super cool. Very cool that it's still intact. This one's nice and tight. Uh, a lot of them are loose because what they are, they're pinned right into the aluminum liners. And aluminum is such a soft, malleable metal that it just, over time, the pins just work loose. Uh, it's called creep. It's why in the electrical trade, there are different processes for terming, terminating elect, aluminum connections as to copper because of the creep of the metal. And basically, when aluminum is under compression or stress the metal basically moves. So uh, when you do what is, I guess it would call an interference fit or whatever, you know, a rivet's called, I believe it's called interference. But when you rely on that stress, it's just not a great design. Fortunately, this one's in great shape, must not have got a lot of use, and that's a good thing. Because this isn't my knife, I fixed this for a friend that I'm fixing some knives for. But it gives me a chance to show some stuff that I haven't gotten to see yet. Of course, we've got the famous cap lifter, screwdriver, stripping notch. Notice we got that sharpened edge for ripping cable. That's great to see. Next up, the plus pat can opener. So that tells us that this can opener is from before 1971. Or 1971 or earlier, I should say. We've got a small flathead. 2D Phillips driver. Bickety bow. Listen to that action. Next up, we've got. Oh, that's what I forgot. Yeah, this is this is the one thing I forgot to do on it. It has somebody tried to fix it before. I believe this is an old spring from like a uh, 58 or 74 mil, uh, 58 millimeter knife. So, yeah, it's like barely even in there. Uh, yeah, I'll swap that out. That's no big deal. If you don't know how to swap the springs out, uh, there's, they're, they're easy to do. They're just frustrating to do. Um, yeah. Next up, we got that beautiful clip blade. Nice and full. I'll put an edge on it. But, yeah, looking good. And then finally, we've got 
the main attraction, the main blade. And yes, it has the Victoria Officier Swiss stamp. Luckily, I had one, uh, a busted up knife that had good blades that I was able to take these from. Because, uh, yeah, you can't. If you were to send this knife to Victorinox, and I had, like, I've heard otherwise, but I've heard, I got directly talking to a, a representative at Victorinox. They said they do not uh, have the old blades and old stamps available. They say there are times where, you know, there's sometimes they have like, they've had Elinox stamps that they've like, if they, if they have them, they'll put them in, but they use, they've run out of these long ago. So what happens is you get a modern stamp on your blade and the stamp is part of aging the knife. So nobody likes that. Good snap. Yeah. So if you want to replace an, a blade on a vintage model, uh, your only option is to basically uh, steal the blade from another knife. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Victorinox, they'll gladly put a new blade on it. It'll just be a modern blade and it will have a modern tank stamp. Like, so, you know, it'll be this blade. Actually, it probably won't even have the crossbow on it. It'll just say Officier Swiss. Yeah. Da. Anyway... So that is my uh, recently uh, rebuilt Climber Small. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Petey Grizz out.